What's up, guys? It's your boys, Wolkie, back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Sir Spooks. We're about to watch his newest video that is titled 10 Scary Videos You Should Not, Not Watch Alone or By Yourself. So I will fill that void and watch it with you. Grab a chair, grab some popcorn, and get your extra pair of pants, and let's get into this video that we should not watch by ourselves. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button right now by hitting that wiper icon. Also, next to it, so when I do post videos, you will get that little ring notification that's woken myself as posted that video. And you guys can watch, like, share, subscribe, all the above. And I can't thank you guys enough for the continued love and support. We are on our way to hopefully get to 50,000 subscribers so I can give one of you lucky people at home a MetaQuest 3 virtual reality headset for free and anyone and everyone can use this headset it's so much fun it's easy to use so don't get discouraged everybody can use this thing and you don't need a computer to play it which is cool also make sure you guys go over to sir spooks give him some love this man is almost to a million subscribers let's get this man over to a million so he can get his million or not his million dollar but his million play button why not hopefully one day Zwoki will get his 100,000 play button, but we can't do it without you guys. So, so subscribe, comment, like, and share. And with that being said, let's get a video. Like music to my ears. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at 10 scary videos. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content. I have a goal of reaching 1 million subscribers, and it would mean a lot if you guys could help me get- I'm just trying to get to 100k, man. Yeah. Alright, with that said, let's begin. Let's do it. Number 10! The following post you're about to see was uploaded to the popular paranormal subreddit by user named Sipsep, who says that video in question was sent to him by his mother. He writes that she is fostering children, and she thought that one was sitting on the chair, but it disappeared and you can't even see any legs. Uh, Very strange and eerie indeed. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay. It's like a baby head. Oh. What the actual crap? Just by taking a look at the video, there's definitely something creepy going on here. The upload also went on to say in this original post that the flashing light that's seen in the video is from a TV that was turned on. He also states that the house in which this incident occurred was built just one year ago, meaning that there shouldn't be any vengeful spirits roaming around the place. So, why exactly is this happening and, perhaps a better question, what exactly is happening here? It's like a baby. Perhaps it's constructed atop an ancient burial ground, disturbing restless they gotta spirits. Stop doing that, man. Or maybe dark energies were unintentionally harnessed during construction, creating a paranormal presence. Alternatively, traumatic events within the family could imprint emotional energy, making the house susceptible to haunting. But this is purely speculation. While we don't know exactly what this video shows, Let's just hope that this house and Scariness. its inhabitants can go back to resuming a normal life. <sighs> if you're into collecting awesome characters not. and simply having a- Sorry Sir Spooks, no uh, sponsors here. <laughs> a Reddit user by the name of Faded47 posted this incredibly spooky clip to the ghost subreddit and says that what he managed to capture on video this night is, quote, the scariest shit that has ever happened to me in my Excuse own house. French. End quote. The uploader wrote, quote, So the other night I heard what sounded like something was sliding around the floor. Just turn the volume up and prepare to shit yourself. End quote. I got my extra pair well, of pants. Without further ado, let's have a look. I'm good.
big mice. While a large portion of the video is just a room surrounded by nothing but silence, in the middle of the video we can hear an extremely sudden sound that sounds exactly like glass shattering. Amazingly, upon hearing this, the uploader seems to be pretty calm and collected despite what just happened. A lot of people in the comments seem to be pretty freaked out by the video, I and I don't blame them. Sadly though, we still don't really know what's going on in the clip, and we likely won't know for a while now. So, what do you guys think is going on in this clip? Do you think that there's some sort of paranormal entity somewhere in this house? If so, why did it simply knock a glass onto the ground? Perhaps it was an attempt to scare the homeowner. If so, then it definitely worked. Or was it simply a vibration from passing vehicles outside that made those objects fall by themselves in the kitchen? We may never know for sure. Well, at least this guy didn't get up and like, Oh, let's look at it. Um... Find us Bieber's History Seekers, a thrilling YouTube channel that follows the extraordinary journeys of two intrepid explorers, Matt and Andy. With an insatiable oh, curiosity for the unknown, this dynamic duo embarks on exhilarating adventures across the UK and Europe, delving into the realms of mystery, history and the supernatural. While a lot of their videos are filled with undeniably creepy moments that are guaranteed to keep you awake at night, there's one particular video in which they explore an abandoned care home that may take the cake for being the creepiest of them all. A scary cake? <laughs> According to Matt and Andy, the care home in question was shut down due to reports of abuse and terrible living conditions. The While the vast majority of the video seems to be them wandering around the building with no problems, that doesn't stay that way for too long. Is this the one? At one point in the video, while making his way upstairs, Matt sees something or someone watching him from the top of the stairs. Take a look at the unsettling footage. Because we went down to the basement, he's throwing me. Totally throwing me. That paper's, they're thick, aren't they? Wallpaper in here is like good quality wallpaper. Yeah, I will say that. Yeah. So, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey, wait up. Hello? Hello? That was a bit creepy. I feel like there's somebody down there as well. Right, I'm going up. This guy's got some balls. See, there's nothing there. Right, I, I've gone cold. There's nowhere for that person to go. What in the world could this dark figure be, and what could it possibly want? Sadly, we don't ever get a good look at the entity's features, so it is quite difficult to come up with any theories here, what other than it being crap. a simple shadow figure. After a minute or two, the two men review the footage just to see the figure once again. They then explore the building and conduct a thorough investigation for the figure, but they are unable to find whoever or whatever That gave me chills. I got chills everywhere. It like goes forward, back, and then forward again. No, thank you, man. Right, so we've just looked back at the footage. And there's definitely somebody at the top of those stairs. 100%. We've had a good look there. where did they go? And I don't know where they could have gone. They can't fit through that hole where them trees were. No. They can't get, we're up on one of the top floors, so there's no way they've escaped. They must have cut the center strokes through that Well, yeah, there's a window here, I'll show you. Yeah, so this seems yeah, like good luck one of the- Yeah, trying to go through there. If you look out of this window, it's a right drop. Yeah. So are. what do you guys think is going on in this abandoned care home? shadow figure. Do you think that there could potentially be the ghosts of those who were mistreated there, looking to enact some revenge? Or do you think that there's something entirely different going on here? As always, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna choose! They're on my butt talks. That means they're good goosebumps. <laughs>
he wrote a long caption that went along with the post, and it reads as follows. Quote, I took this video when I was in high school in 2016. It's shaky and old, but you can see something move from the left of the screen, then towards me. Oh gosh. This doesn't look like an ordinary shadow, and it can't be since there was no light behind me. Not to mention, the way it moves is pretty scary. Oh gosh. Also, I went to a boarding school that is pretty old and built on various cemeteries. This is the attic of one of the buildings I took classes in, which reportedly burned down hundreds of years prior. I took this video with flash just to be able to Does see in the like dark, and this? after I watched it, I saw this. Not to mention, it's in the town where Friday the 13th was filmed, which isn't significant, but everything about the little town is spooky. Since some teachers lived in the dorms, I've heard stories from them of people singing in the dorms and running while students were away for break. I've had other weird happenings on campus that I can't explain." End quote. I don't see it coming at him though. By looking at the video, there definitely appears to be some sort of apparition moving around in the I building. Thought it was gonna be? But because of just how hard it is to see in that building, we can't say for sure exactly what it is. Someone in the comments one. says that it looks like smoky outlines of people which certainly seems pretty accurate. As always, be sure to let me know what you think is going on here in the comments. Funeral homes are generally regarded as safe places due to their primary function of providing a respectful and dignified environment for families to mourn the loss of a loved one. These establishments are committed to offering support and guidance during a difficult time, ensuring that grieving families can focus on the healing process without worrying about external concerns. The moment ghosts are allegedly videotaped within these supposedly sacred spaces, the atmosphere shifts from one of solace to one of apprehension. The previously comforting surroundings become a canvas for the unknown, shrouded in the unsettling possibility that spirits may linger among the living. Take a look at this unsettling clip, and see how this seemingly innocent funeral home shows that there may this be a, a ghost lingering home? around the halls, wandering- How is this a funeral home when they're asking for cold brew, decaf, and- ...with nothing to do. It's more like a coffee bar. Oh. Sucker metal. Oh, how's it going? The only problem I have is it's like going towards this area right here. Gratefully, this is one of those incidents in which it seems as though the spirit in question wasn't very harmful as it can be seen simply knocking things over. Heavy things. But of course, that still doesn't make the video any less spooky. What do you guys think is going on here? Do you think that it's possible for spirits to be wandering around a funeral home? If so, let's just hope that if you ever visit a funeral home, to pay respect to a loved one that you don't have to encounter something like this. Interesting. Number five. This YouTube video was posted by a woman Serenity known as Serenity Sue. Sue, who says that she was contacted by a subscriber named Simone Leslie, writing that in one of her earlier videos, she had caught a ghost. Uh -huh. This then prompted Sue to ask Simone to screenshot this incident and to send her some additional information about it. She then puts an arrow on the screen to show us the exact spot that Simone has pointed out, which just so happens to be located in a cemetery. I think that's just another tombstone. Now the video right at this moment is slowed right down and um, 
I'm actually reading a headstone here. I pan slightly around and in the distance you will see a grey headstone and the figure kind of looks at me and then looks away really, really fast like she's been caught on camera. You will see that grey headstone, the figure look and look away and you'll see the red arrow pointed to her. This is actually Simone's um, video that she caught and um, screen recorded off her telly, or face, put in or, her uh, screenshot. And then oh, she, she ducks behind it! By slowing down the footage at just the right moment, you can definitely see that there's something in the distance that almost looks like a grayish figure. I was say, Simply stand but around the area and watch him. Fuck. And then, drop whoop. your opinions in the comments below. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, I'm eager to hear your take on this eerie footage. I have goosebumps on my booty. Ah. Oh, that's when you know they're good. <laughs> they're on, when they're on your booty. Between this and the movie Barbarian. I'm not sure that I'll ever feel comfortable about staying in an Airbnb ever again. This Reddit user known as 3410-3410 posted this eerie video and said that he's hoping that people will be able to give him a logical explanation for what was captured on camera, other than it being chalked up to a ghost. He writes that he traveled to Tuscan, Arizona for a U of A basketball game, and after the whole night, he proceeded to crash on the couch, relax, and eat some good food to unwind. As anybody would. The uploader then states that he started to videotape his drunk friend, and during one point in the video, the man's dog is staring around with a blank expression on its face, <laughs> and then, out of nowhere, this happens. Ashley, you look at me. Oh, I hate when people do that, they just kick stuff around, it's like, pick it up! Busted. I really wish I could stay there so much longer. Oh my god. It's happened to me every time. Mm. I'm so sad. Whoa. There's no way for that to do that. Hold on. How is it possible that the Redditor's shoe just managed to flip right side up? It's definitely quite bizarre and unsettling to say the least. For now, the Reddit community awaits further updates from the uploader, hoping for additional context or explanations that might shed light on this uh, mysterious occurrence. I don't know about that one. Let me know Ooh. if you have any sort of theories for this one in the comment section down below. I don't even see any jump cuts or nothing. Oh, it's creepy. Oh. <laughs> this next video that comes to us by Reddit user Big Tree Fall was Big posted Tree to Fall. the popular UFO subreddit, which is a community dedicated to UFO sighting videos and general Ooh. discussions about UFOs. The video in question that you're about to watch was taken by an amateur astronomer and seems to showcase some sort of bizarre glowing red object right over the Is moon. Death Star? Take a look and see for yourself. A freaking laser? Where are you going? Um... It's casting redness on the moon now. Is it scanning? What's it doing? Um, sir, are you on the dark side of the moon scanning stuff? I'm gonna have to ask you to stop scanning. Or stop whatever you are doing. Cease and desist. I knew it was going to do that. Like, why? It's like, oh, I'm being seen. In the video, attention is drawn to a captivating sight. A mysterious glowing red object positioned prominently against the backdrop of the moon. The distinct contrast of the vivid red hue against the lunar landscape intensifies the enigma, prompting viewers to question the origin and nature of the observed phenomenon. Some say it could be extraterrestrial origins, 
attributing the sighting to potential alien activity, while others come up with more terrestrial explanations, considering phenomena like atmospheric anomalies, celestial events, or even man-made objects. Whether this mysterious red object is a product of natural celestial phenomena, advanced technology, or something yet to be fully understood, the, the video serves as a testament to the ongoing fascination with the unexplained and the role that online communities play in collectively unraveling the mysteries of our world. Number two. Janitors play a crucial and often underappreciated role in maintaining the functionality and cleanliness of various spaces, be it nice. schools, offices, hospitals or other public facilities. You'd think that janitors have a relatively safe job seeing as how they simply clean and maintain things. But as it turns out, this video by TikTok user Skiboy 2 digit proves that sometimes even janitors can get targeted by the paranormal. Oh this is in this the video, one. the janitor in question can be seen walking around in the hall, videotaping his surroundings. At first, nothing out of the ordinary seems Sorry, to be happening to him, creeps. but that all changes relatively quickly. He then enters a classroom that has some balloons in it, but he says that it's this particular red one in the corner that's freaking him out. Then, as he exits the classroom, take a look at what happens. Hell no, it follows him! After some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. It's like, hello, Georgie. And do you want a red balloon? Do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just, uh, mm, see? That right there. Um... And you can see the reflection, the balloon, that there's nothing behind him. Bro, I don't know about this one. Just. And then it follows him, watch. Ooh, okay. See, no, no, no. Interestingly, the balloon could be seen following the janitor around the hallway, much to his discomfort and terror. Then, about a minute or so later, he then sees this, which is equally the freaky. Black shadow that, poof. Watch, down the hallway. It just, it just follows me no matter what. Ooh. Hell no! I, I would quit. Two week notice. There. Ooh. Not coming back. <laughs> I'm done. Hell no. Ooh. This man is too chill for this. <laughs> what in the world could possibly be going on here? Do you think that there's some sort of paranormal entity roaming the halls of this school? Hell no. If so, why is it targeting this innocent janitor? It seems that we may never know the answer. Ooh. I would be done. Here's the keys, here's my badge, I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs> this video was posted to the aforementioned ghost subreddit by username Gabaflasm. <coughs> it's a Gabba home security Biden? camera video that initially appears to be quite normal, but is actually anything but. In the video, we watch as the uploader's brother is taking stuff out of his vehicle in the middle of the day. So far, so good. But then, as he's doing so, something absolutely terrifying can be seen in the background. Prepare to change your pants once you see this. Oh, I got him. Okay, man's in the trunk. Chicken's cock a goo 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 Oh. Hello there. Okay, Ben's down. Where'd he go? Bends down, and that's it. Where'd he go? So he walks. 
stops, bends down, and boof. What the fudge? Out of nowhere, a mysterious figure can be seen standing up and wandering around for a few seconds before disappearing entirely. Ha! I didn't need my extra pair the of pants. The question almost looks like some sort of naked ghost guy. Like something you'd see straight out of the horror movie, Hereditary. The uploader then went on to write saying that his brother allegedly never heard or saw anybody, and said that there would be no nearby visitors that would be walking on the property either. This is by far one of the most unsettling videos that I've seen in quite a long time, just because of how disturbingly real it all feels. Goosebumps. What do you guys think? Do you think that the video is authentic? If so, what do you think is going on? Is there some sort of ghostly entity wandering around, or is something else entirely different going on here? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Comment down below, guys. And that was 10 scary videos. Ooh, loved it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. Like the video. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. So you heard the man, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, like, and share. It's so good for you guys to do that. Remember to click my link in the description. Let's us know that we are doing good. Let us know that you're enjoying the content and so forth. So make sure you guys do all the above. Comment down below how scared you guys got. Let me know again uh, if you guys want me to continue doing scary stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care. Keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time.